partner passing with a skate. So here what we're gonna do is we're gonna just line up across from each other and we're gonna spread out all the way down the rink, all the way down the rink. What we're gonna work on first is just stationary passing. Forehand passes back and forth on our forehand, back and forth on our forehand, working on quick give and goes. On the whistle, let's say I've got the puck here, I'm gonna skate forwards to the center of the rink and my partner's gonna skate backwards. When I get to the center of the rink, I'm gonna make a pass, he's gonna catch it going backwards, explode forward as I skate backwards, and we're gonna exchange pucks going forwards and backwards. When we blow the whistle again, we're gonna stop, we're gonna turn around on our backhands. This time we're gonna pass stationary passes on our backhands, stationary passes on our backhand. On the whistle, I'm gonna skate forwards with the puck. When I get to the center, I'm gonna turn it to my backhand and dish it as he's skating backwards. He's gonna grab it, skate forward, turn to the backhand, and dish it, we're gonna go back and forth, forwards and backwards. The last one is, we're gonna do saucer passes. So stationary saucer passes, up and over, up and over, you can skate through with your stick, have guys pass the puck over your stick, and on the whistle, you're gonna skate forwards, saucer pass it as your partner skates backwards, catches it and skates forwards, exchange it going back and forth, working on saucer passes. Three person passing. This is a great drill that involves working on short passes, area passes, and working on long passes as well. So here I've got three players, the puck's gonna start in the middle. When I start the pass, I'm gonna make a pass to my end guy. He's gonna work on stick handling the puck back and forth as I come around tight turn, and he's gonna make that pass out to me in front. So if this guy's a righty and I come around here, that's gonna be on his backhand. If he's a lefty, it's gonna be on his forehand. So as I do a tight turn, I come around, pick up that puck in front of me, take a couple of strides, make a pass to the next guy. He's gonna stick handle it back and forth, back and forth. As I do a tight turn around him, he's gonna put the puck back up in front and area pass. We're gonna do a continuous skate. You could do it for time, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. On the whistle then you're gonna stop and everyone's gonna rotate through. Now after everybody's been through, the second variation is, is we're gonna add the long pass. So here as I've got the puck, I'm gonna start making a pass to my guy on the end. As I'm coming around, he's gonna make a long pass all the way across the rink. I'm gonna come around, He's gonna make a pass to me as I get it right about in the middle. I'm gonna pass it right back to him and go around. He's gonna go all the way over, pass up to the middle, pass it right back as I come around. So we're gonna be working on long passes, getting the pass back, handling it, one touch passes back, finishing up. Handling the puck as you skate towards a skater. Three person passing. Circle passing. And this we're just gonna do a simple stationary passing drill. We're gonna have guys line up around the circle. So you're just gonna work on turning your body towards each person as you make a pass across. As soon as you get it, you're looking to make the pass off, looking to get a pass off, looking to get a pass off, looking to get a pass off. You're just gonna to turn towards your partner, whoever's got the puck, handling that puck. It's a great way to start working on calling out players' names, calling for the puck, passing the puck. Now, as a variation, let's say we're in the circle here, is you could skate out towards the center and then make a move towards one of your guys Maybe I'm a righty here and I decide I'm gonna make a backhand pass here and I'm gonna take off and go back to the circle. He's gonna skate back out to the middle, look, make a pass, exchange places with the person. So we can do it stationary or we can do it as we move in short area passes, working on moving and communicating, calling out your player's name. Line passing. Now this may seem really easy, but we do it at camps all over and it's amazing how people have a hard time doing this. We just call this line passing. All we're gonna do is we're gonna line up and we're just gonna skate down the rink, shuffle skating, so our feet and our edges stay on the rink, working on moving those arms back and forth and just trying to pass the puck back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, all the way down the rink. Try to make as many passes as you can. Now, you can go side by side, so you're working on your forehands and backhands, backhands and forehands. The other alternative is you can go forwards and backwards. So as I skate forwards and backwards, we're making passes up and back. I'm skating backwards, my partner's skating forwards, we're passing the puck up and back, up and back, up and back, up and back, up and back. Line passing. Two man weave. Here I've got two players down on the corner. I'm gonna put pucks always against the boards. Here we wanna start talking about how to support the puck carrier by moving towards them. So the person without the puck is always gonna move across the rink area pass in front and you always trail and follow behind. After he gets the puck, he's gonna curl wide towards the boards. And now here we are, got the puck, I'm gonna skate across, call for the puck, take it wide, skate behind, and we're gonna work on weaving, two man, all the way down the rink. Passing ahead, cutting underneath, trying to get as many passes in as you can. 
three person weave. Here now we're gonna fill up all three lanes. So we wanna think about lanes down the rink and making sure that our players are filling the lanes. So we're gonna start the puck here in the center. You can go to either side. So if I turn and I make the pass here, my guy's gonna cut across the rink, fill my middle lane. As I curl wide, fill the opposite lane. And this guy's filling his lane here. Now he's gonna turn, make the pass here. He's gonna curl, fill the lane here. The guy's in the middle as I'm up here now. And then we're gonna just repeat. Now I'm cutting across the rink. He's gonna feed the pass, curl wide under as I'm in the middle. This guy's moving up, same thing. He's gonna start cutting across towards me. I make the pass, fill the lane. He's in the lane, he's skating it up. We're gonna continue that all the way down the rink. So again, the key is to make sure that we're filling all three lanes, we're making those passes, and you're always moving towards the player with the puck.